Four. Oh. There is our founder, Austin McCord, with his bot, Hash Brown. What? I don't know what I'm seeing. I is think that, that this is, is liquid that nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen? Yes. What is happening? Norwalk Havoc founder Austin McCord has built this weird wooden robot with liquid nitrogen canisters <laughs> facing off against Marathon. <laughs> Marathon built and driven by uh. Valkyrie driver Fred Moore. Oh, oh. No. Huge, huge hits there. Austin McCord has built a wooden robot. You can see Fred Moore there in the background. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh. Wood coming off of Hash Brown. No, he should have gone with Pressure Treated. Wow. <laughs> Familiar face name to all of us at NHRL. It's Austin McCord. And the, the hash brown robot here, on the other hand, that wasn't as familiar to some of the people. What was what was the inspiration? In 20 minutes. Like, there was a lot of stuff that didn't happen. And so this is what happens if you put a bunch of two-by-fours together. It did a lot better than I actually expected it would. And so uh, it's always fun to try something new and different. And liquid nitrogen is definitely interesting as a weapon. I feel like liquid nitrogen has been an ongoing conversation piece here right. today. But up up until then, like, no one thought, hey, maybe I should use liquid nitrogen. And, like, I don't know, it did slow Fred's spot down for a little bit. So just needs an actual real delivery method besides paper cups. So, so when you have your builder and robot hat on, then you have to take that off. Sometimes they come in as an overseer of what NHRL is all about. You mentioned fun. Yeah. How much fun is it now kind of seeing this whole thing come to life even more? Uh, it's super awesome. I think like the fact that this community has come together around it is really, really exciting. And, and that's that's what gets me excited is that we've got full stands. We have incredibly excited fans. Like we have incredible competitors and each event continues to get better. And so my job's not to win the event because that would be ridiculous, but instead to be like, hey, what is the craziest thing that we can do? And like each time we just try to step it up. How can we get even crazier? Uh, and so really excited about what today is and like we've expanded so much today uh, and the future events that we're going to have later this year things are going to get even more exciting i don't know if they're going to last until the judges ricky no pieces rapidly losing weight it, this is oh, oh no They said, come back and I'll bite your kneecaps. Uh, and they got obliterated for it. Warlock is going to need a necromancer to bring himself back. Oh, my. Incredible. <laughs> Look at the energy in that exchange. You know, there are moments when you can tell every bolt on the robot has fatigued and is on the edge of breaking. And that first hit did it. Everything after that point was just gravy on top. Easy pickings. Fight, robots fight. College team on college team action here with Warlock and Jade. Jade is run by Northwestern's combat robotics. Check out this replay. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You can see that the uh, the weapon disc from Jade is now bent. They tacoed that thing, Chris. That is incredible. That, wow. That requires so much energy. Yeah. Wow. You can see that Warlock's forks got underneath, or its wedge got underneath that weapon, and then when they were able to kick the entire robot in the air, severing the uh, the blade from Jade. What is happening? That's their mini bot, Chris. Is it? Yeah. I've never been so excited. Yeah. And that is actually filled with explosive gas. Not necessarily uh, like a... What is Joe doing? Oh, no! Joe, no! <laughs> <laughs> Is
Is that flammable, Joe? Easier. Lindsay, I think that Lindsay, you're, you're you're you 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 summed it up well. <laughs> <laughs> let the penguin fight. L let the penguin fight. Let the penguin fight. Five, four. Three, Here we go. Two, one. Fight, robots, fight. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Spaces can't leave the pink square. Oh, happy Here feet, no! Firebug. No! All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this instant replay. Joe Fabiani trying to get to his square. He already killed half of his drive. Oh, and I could watch this all day long, Chris. This one's making the highlight reel for sure. Wow. Dustin S1 can only pivot here, going in circles. He'd love to land a huge hit. He's uh, a huge hit. Come on, come on! Oh! Here is Shadow Sparks. Death charge is now at Look an Look at angle. this dance! Wow, I do not feel safe, Chris. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Shadow wow! Sparks. Yes! Whoa! side of the big box. James finally worked up the courage to come over and uh, get Dustin at... Wow. Uh, All right, here comes the big angle. hit. Here we go. Here it comes. <laughs> Moments before <laughs> disaster, Chris. Wow. wow. Smashing that in inside panel. Incredible. Wow. Unbelievable. Perfect shot. What are the motors that Dustin Eswine is, is running on that robot? It was a horizontal spinner, um, but you can see that it's actually not broken all the way through. And if you kind of look in there, I don't know if Mike, you can get real close in, you can see there's about that much uh, between the two panes. So. My hand is not getting cut, but yes, there's a whole lot of damage, as you can see, and as the cleanup is beginning, give it a good old-fashioned wave, yeah. There you go. Amazing, look at that. Wow. I am surprised that they're going with depth charge on this one. Look yeah, you know, because that was a, uh, that was a display of control uh, you know, it, it, that was not intentional for them to do anything. It, Pushing its it? opponent up right. against, uh, right. you know, using the uh, the arena to its advantage. But uh, judges' decisions are final, Chris. Look at that. Wow.